With the help of everyone here today, we're going to win the state of Michigan this November. We're going to fire. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, man. We're going to evict the Biden crime family from the White House, and we are going to make America great again. Have you heard that expression? Yeah, man. Hell yeah. Yeah. We're going to make America great again. Less than four years ago, our border was secure. Inflation was nowhere to be seen. We didn't have inflation. The world was at peace, and America was stronger and more respected than ever before. It was never as respected as it was just four years ago. Hell no. Now, under crooked Joe Biden, the worst president in the history of our country, the world is in flames. Our border is overrun. Inflation is raging. Europe is in chaos. The Middle East is exploding. Iran is emboldened. China is on the march. And the worst, most incompetent person to ever lead this country is dragging us toward World War III. Other than that, I think he's doing a very good job. Do we agree, sir? Other than that, he's doing a fine job. Yeah. No, he's the worst. Under Biden, illegal aliens are better off. Terrorists are better off. China is better off. Russia is better off. The cartels are better off. But the American people were far better off under a gentleman named President Donald J. Trump. Have you heard of him? Yeah, Uh, man! (laughs) Yeah! I've heard of you, man! And in particular, get, oh, and remember this. Oh, wait a minute. Mike Lindell, please stand up, okay? I just saw him. Yeah, man. Stand up. Yeah. Stand up, man. Forget yeah. about his pillows. He is the greatest <laughs> yeah. purchaser of advertising in the history of America. If Hell, you could buy yeah. my ads, I'd be blanketing the airwaves with it. Thank you, Mike. We love yeah. Mike. Yeah. But in particular, Michigan was better off with Trump by a lot. You were doing great. Companies were moving back and the car companies weren't moving out and you weren't under a mandate to build all electric cars, which could all be made in China. It's just a question of a few years. For decades before I took office, Joe Biden and his cronies in Washington got rich by selling off Michigan jobs and selling out Detroit. That's what they did. That's why your car business is so far down. You used to have 100% of the car business. Now you're down to probably 30% by comparison to what it was. Crooked Joe back NAFTA, the worst trade deal we ever had. China's entry into the World Trade Organization, other disaster. The Trans-Pacific Partnership, he wanted that so badly, would have totally destroyed the state. The Paris Climate Accord, where we put up a trillion dollars and nobody else puts up anything. One of the most unfair deals. Sounds good, but it was a disaster. And every other globalist disaster that sucked the life and wealth and blood out of our country. And that's what it was doing. But after decades of Joe Biden putting America last, Michigan finally got a president who put America first. That's what happened. Hell yeah, man. Yeah! I met a lot of people backstage just now, and they're all saying, sir, we were doing so much better four years ago. Everybody was. Yeah. I stood up to the globalists. I stood up to the outsourcers, corporate lobbyists, and special interests. That's why they don't exactly love me, these people. And I live by the motto, promises made, promises kept. I kept all my promises, kept them all. Yeah, man! Hell yeah, man! In my first week in office, I terminated TPP, Trans-Pacific Partnership. Would have destroyed your state. Would have yeah. would have really destroyed trade in our country. And I withdrew from the Paris Accord. It was unfair. A disaster. Yeah. And I ended NAFTA, worst trade deal, and replaced it with the brand new USMCA. That's Mexico, Canada. In fact, that deal is so good and so good for the American auto worker that Canada and Mexico are trying to renegotiate it as we speak. They want to renegotiate it. Don't do it, Crooked Joe. Don't do it. Don't do it, man. Enough for him. He'll do it. I stood up to China like never before, bringing in hundreds of billions of dollars in revenue when no other president had gotten 10 cents from China. Hundreds of billions. Yeah, man. I imposed 